You guys ready? Yeah. Jorgen? What's up, man? It's been a uh, crazy few weeks. Uh, you lose your first appointment, Ante, last year's champion. Then you get Dennis Golsoff, and, now, and then you learn today that you get Danilo Marquez. Um, what, are you, what are your thoughts? BFL, man. I love the format. Uh, I think if you win BFL, you should be able to, to fight at any time, at any moment. My game plan never changed, so it's always the same. So I don't care. New opponent, same goal. I mean, how has it been preparing? Because you're going from different opponent and they all bring something different, right? So like, you go from a striker to a striker wrestler to now just like a really good jiu-jitsu guy. So what's it been like? Yeah, I mean, fortunately we focus on myself. Uh, we focus and get better overall. Defend, take down, get my wrestling, uh, be an anti-jiu-jitsu guy too, and, and, and sharpen my, my strike. So uh, guys like Danilo, I, I got rid for guys like him my whole life. I fought, I fought within the series, guys almost like him. Uh, I, I'm, I've been prepared to defend the now since I started my, my MMA career, so there's nothing really changed, and it is what it is. Now you're fighting a little bit early. Are you uh, happy about that? I'm very excited because after I get done, I'm going places. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're fighting back in Vegas. You fought here a few times. Um, are you excited about that? Excited. I love Vegas. I have good memories here in Vegas. Uh, my contender series was here. When well, my last fight didn't go my way, but uh, I love Vegas, man. I love the, love everything about Vegas, and I'm happy to be here. You've only you know known about your opponent for a few hours now, but what are your thoughts on him? I like it. I think he's he's very well rounded. He's been UFC before. He wins some good fights. He got a, a high level jiu jitsu. He's notorious for taking people back and put them to sleep. Uh, and uh, I mean, I can't wait. Can't wait to share the cage with him and. Uh, and uh, I know for a fact that I'm going to get my hands raised on Friday night. How do you get your hand raised on Friday night? Knock out first round. How, how soon did you know you were going to get a new opponent? Because we only heard a few hours ago. Did you hear when we heard? Or uh, heard last, you know? last, I uh, heard yesterday at 4 p.m. My manager texted me and said, Go, so I've had a visa issue, so now you're fighting Danilo. I say, Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Do you have a preference over who you would have? I know you say you'll fight everybody who says that, but over, over the two, which one were, are you more excited? Or I was you? I was getting ready for Ante in, in the perfect world. I will fight Ante because he got, he was the biggest name. He's the champion. Uh, he was, I had something to prove by being the PFL. My first fight, I want to fight the, the best guy they had. The second best guy probably was Gosov, which I thought was harder fight than Ante too. But I mean, it is what it is. Uh, if I had a preference to choose between the three. I'll fight a deal. <laughs> and uh, looking at the looking at the bracket, uh, looking ahead, is there anybody that gets you excited that you want to be really excited to fight? I love all those guys, man. Everybody has a lot of exciting guys. Bruno Capello is very excited. Matteo Sheffield very good. Renan Big Renan very good. The best of all of them that I think personal. That's my personal. I think the one who have the one that's youngest, uh, well-rounded, and uh, I think have a lot to prove is Rizvan. Since he didn't make it to UFC, I think he have a lot of anger on him, and I think he's the well, most well-rounded. I think he's the one who's going to be in the final. I hope it's me and him. And I guess the most important question: Where are you going when you win? I want to know. Go places. I can't yeah, tell. I want to know what places. I can't tell because my wife and my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, you just said that the format of the PFO, we have to be ready at any time. Excited too, so. I'm sure, is there anything else that excites you about the format and how you're gonna conquer these challenges? Yeah, I like the fact that I have to fight every eight weeks. That means that we have a check every eight weeks. So we financially, we have, you don't have to worry about, you know, you're gonna make money. That's a big thing in fighting. You know, we, when you fight different promotions, sometimes you fight, you take six months off, that money will go out. So financial is very good. Uh, I know everybody's in, who is in, the, the tournament with me, so I'm basically gonna study all of them. So this is great, man, and and I like the format. You win by, you win first round six point. Guys, they're gonna be fight for decision. Unfortunately, you're gonna stay behind. I'm not one of those guys. I wanna fight to win the first round. Awesome, yeah. And, and your nickname is the Mad Titan. Can you explain how that came together? The Mad Titan. Yeah, yeah, come come locally. One, one of my coach brought brought a name because my local fights it was all. Every time I touch people, they will. They will still sleep probably. So he thought I have a, I have that power to take people souls off. So he the mad side and I love it. Thank you. Thank you man.
Jorgen, how important is it for you to set the pace here in this first fight, set the tone for the rest of the year? Yeah, I want to introduce myself. I want to introduce well. I want to go down there. I'm going to push the pace. I'm going to take the center of the cage. I'm going to go forward. I want to let them know, PFL and defense, that I'm here to, to give a fight. Every time I'm announcing the card, there's a fight. Given the circumstances, do you still feel like you're carrying momentum from the other fights, the win streaks? Does it still feel fresh for you? No, I'm start over, man. I, I think I, I made that mistake before. I was winning. I thought it was unbeatable. I don't do that. Every, every fight now for me is the last fight. It's do or die. I know strategy from fighter to fighter has to change, but the point system is so important. Uh, do you feel like you're relatively close to what you wanted to do with your other opponents as you will be uh, this Friday? Always. My, 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 my game plan, I only have one game plan. Defend, take down, and knock them out. Whoever we'll have a fight. So my game plan doesn't change. Um, about your abs, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> They're going to call the enemy control. <laughs> <laughs> you you had talked before about you know the, the point system. Do you when you go into a fight does that does that change your mentality going in, or do you say if I, as long as I follow my game plan, I'm doing that, and what happens happens? No, naturally I'm I'm, I'm aggressive guy. I want to go forward and win the first round. I know that everybody's here is good. They are durable. Sometimes not going to be able to do it. But my goal is first round. It doesn't change the format. Is I'm going forward. To but win it, doesn't, the first it doesn't change your like mentality. Nope. Yeah. I'm okay. going to go forward. Yeah, right here. Uh, for this camp, did you train at the regiment training center? I, I split it up the camp. I trained uh, six weeks with John Jones at New Mexico, and I, I, I finished four weeks at home at regiment. Uh, so overall, how do you believe the training camp went? You look, you look good. You look healthy. How do you feel? Thank you. I like you. Man. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> look good. Look healthy. No, I feel good. Uh, I spent six weeks in New Mexico. It was hard. I hate that place. Cause, <laughs> I mean, I have to be honest. It's, it's dry. It's, the altitude is crazy. I couldn't sleep, but it was good for me. It was good for mine. You got to be uncomfortable. And all those guys. And you guys know John. He he do go hard. He's a hard worker. Not just the talent. He's a very hard worker. But it was good for me for my mindset. Uh, I wasn't there just to help me. To help him, they helped me a lot. And I, I'm planning to go back there again. Um. So when I was in the military, I visited your your hometown, Cape. Of, you uh, went to Cape Verde. Of uh, Cape Verde, it was very brief. I had to work. I only spent like maybe an hour or two in town. Could you just tell anybody who doesn't know about your beautiful place, your country? Yeah. Beautiful place. Uh, very humble. We don't really have much money down there. People live off of of tourists and fishing and 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 basic stuff like like a farm place, but nice weather, 90 degree all year round. Good people, and uh, I'm very proud to represent my country. Uh, One day I'm gonna bring it on there, but <laughs> after I after I win that million dollar, oh, <laughs> it's gonna be nice. Um, last question for me. Um, I read. I don't know if this is true, but you said that Danny Cormier was your hero due to his uh, figure and unbelievable talent and determination. You can say that. Right I don't know if that's true. John is must watch that. <laughs> no, I like Danny Cormier. One thing I have nothing to do with the other. I like Danny Cormier. He did a phenomenal job with his, his body style, he's short, uh, chubby, I don't know if I can say fat. He's short and chubby and, and he dominated heavyweight division. Uh, I always look up to him and I like him. He's definitely one of my, my favorite fighters of all time. Have you, have you had a chance to meet him? Yeah, I met him. I fought, I fought in Australia. He was commenting. I, I, I had a, a good talk with him. I told he, I, he, he told me why I like to cry after the fight. <laughs> I say at least I cry for the right reason. You always cry for the wrong one. <laughs> but he's a good guy. Good guy. I had a great time with him. All right, thank you. Appreciate thank it. You. He's got your favorite abs in MMA. He is the <laughs> peak, peak performance body. That's what you look. Daniel Coleman. Yeah, that makes sense. Perfect. Right. <laughs> I mean, spitting image. It looks great. Yes. Thank you. If you can get the same success, apparently that's the. If you can get the success. Yes. So, that gives me the excuse to eat a couple more. Slice of pizza. In your UFC debut, <laughs> uh, you had a short round opponent, knocked him out. PFL debut, you have a short round opponent. Is it kind of parallel? I do believe in, 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 in the, the energy, the vibe. I think that God is working for me. I think this is a great fight for me. And uh, I'm just going to go there and do my job. I'm ready. I know I'm ready. I want to show up ready. I know what he got. There's, there's, he, there's no secret in this fight. You're going to try to take me down, I'm going to try to knock him out. Right. <laughs> um, you said that, you know, 
right now in your career, you, you look at yourself more as a prize fighter, like you're fighting for money. Is that because you've already had the platform of the UFC, like you've already had the platform of fame and now you're looking at, you know, towards the end, end, end of your career? Absolutely, and uh, this life is very hard. Not everybody's gonna make it. I know there's a lot of fighters think we're all gonna live here rich. That's an illusion. But if I can take off something of this, if I can stack some money to invest, get some investment, save some money to send my daughter to the college in a couple of years, I'll be happy with it. I know I'm probably not gonna be rich, but that's my goal, take something of this. You got a lot of damage, a lot of guys who, after they fight career, they gotta get depressed. Because you don't, not everybody gonna make, you gotta, while you walk through the fight business, you, you gotta know that not everybody gonna make it. I know, I'm conscious, and now I'm definitely fighting for the most money. I will fight anyone though, but for the right money. Um, is this the first time your daughter's, daughter's gonna see you fight live? No, she saw me in the Contender Series, she saw me back home. I always, I do, uh, you know, we all fight, we all different. I always fight for my family. They are with me in the struggle, in the bad moments, in my dark moments. I think they deserve to be with me in the glory. So I bring them always with my fight. It, it doesn't matter. Also, you teach your daughter life is not always pink. Sometimes things can go wrong. We're just going to keep going forward. Done. I'm